Britain is doubling down on its commitment to carbon capture. It announced fresh support for two projects this week, after pledging in March that it would invest over $25 billion in the tech. And it's all part of its effort to reach net zero emissions by 2050. But is carbon capture the way? There are two main types of carbon capture and storage. Point source carbon capture and storage, or CCS, captures CO2 produced at the source, like a smokestack. Direct air capture, or DAC, removes CO2 already released into the atmosphere. Stuart Gilfillan with the University of Edinburgh says carbon capture is an essential way to help fight climate change. The reason for that is because it's the only thing that we can use to directly take away the emissions or prevent the emissions from combustion of fossil fuels to the atmosphere. The two British projects that won backing are designed to capture emissions from heavy emitting sectors like oil and gas refining. It will then be stored underground off the coast of Britain in depleted oil and gas fields. CCS has been used since the 1970s. The Global CCS Institute says more than 220 million tons of CO2 have been captured and stored. But many existing projects have failed to produce the carbon savings promised. My take on this is very simple. That if the government actually cared about net zero CO2 emissions and reaching those targets, they would simply announce that those licenses for the new oil and gas exploration would be conditional on all of the emissions being stored or all of the emissions that result from the combustion of those new fossil fuel projects to be captured and stored and buried safely underground. A report from a United Nations panel of scientists says CCS can play a role in helping to reach global climate targets, but they underscored the need to focus on reducing emissions first. Britain is aiming to capture and store up to roughly 30 million tons a year by 2030, equal to the emissions from 15 million cars. Environmental groups question how effectively CCS can curb emissions though, as technology enables fossil fuel companies to operate longer and more efficiently. While announcing the two new CCS projects, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak also granted hundreds of new licenses for oil and gas extraction.